Hello, welcome. What we're going to be covering in this uh, video today are going to be details and detail components. What we're going to be doing is creating a detail of an interior wall and show you some of the features within that wall. What we need to do first is create a detail, and a detail is nothing more than a small window in the section that we have drawn to take a look at a wall section. Now, there might be things in that wall that are not practical to put in on a large scale of the like the building that we're looking at so what we do is we take this detail look at what we have there which is going to be the the drywall on either side of that the wall and the floor which is a concrete slab and then add some 2D elements in there like uh, the sections of uh, some framing pieces and some insulation in order to enhance that look so let's go ahead and do that. What we're going to do is we're going to take a detail of this section, of a portion of this section. So we're going to double click in the section symbol, zoom in on this area here, and if we go to the view uh, tab, we're going to get a area here in our create uh, uh, palette. And we're going to go to the call out. This is going to be detail call out. What it does is it allows us to draw a corner to corner to rectangle in kind of a hot dog shape in a way. It's got uh, rounded edges to it. So we want a little bit of the base, and we want to have, um, you know, some of the top too. And if you need to stretch this and move it around, you can do that by using some of the pull tabs. What it does is it provides us a symbol that we could use. Uh, the symbol will be populated with the detail number and the sheet it eventually will be installed on. So we have placeholders for that. And if you want to go to the detail right away, you just double click on that symbol, just like you would do with an elevation symbol or a section symbol. So here we have it. We have our detail. Uh, a couple things we want to do here, we want to rename that detail. So it's right now called Call Out of Section 1 just by default. So we're going to right click on that and go to Rename. And we're going to call this just to differentiate it from some of the other elements in our section folder because it's kind of like a section of a section. It doesn't have its own folder, but it is in the section folder. And we're going to call that Detail Interior Wall. And press OK. Next thing we want to do is reduce the scale. Remember, a detail is kind of a close-up of uh, of what we want to look at. We don't want to have the model scale in here of a quarter inch is equal to a foot because the uh, scale will be really, really small on a piece of paper. So we're going to make that bigger and maybe go to like maybe one inch is equal to a foot and go to apply. And as soon as you do that, you'll notice that the text surrounding that uh, that level that we have at the ground level is now you know relatively small. So we, it's going to print out at, uh, at about quarter inch or three thirty seconds of an inch, I believe. On, uh, on the sheet view when we get there. And our text that we're going to put in here is going to have that too. So that is our detail so far. And let's just add one uh, detail component to this just so you have an idea of how to do it. If you go to annotate, I'm going to go to detail component. Remember detail component is a 2D feature that we're going to put in on the 3D model within that window. So we're going to click on that. We're going to load a family because I don't think we have what we're looking for. And what I'm looking for is um, is the break line. So we're going to go to load family. And this item is going to be under detail components. Not annotations, but detail component. And uh, it's going to be under general, the general folder. And the only thing there is break line. So we're going to go to break line. What a break line does is what it allows us to do is it uh, kind of separates some of the model out from some of the things we don't want to see and it allows us to concentrate on the things we do want to see. So what we want to do is we need to put that brake line on sides like that. And you notice over the brake line you have a couple, you have some pull tabs in here that allow you to hide and uh, manipulate them. Everything that's behind the, the brake line will be hidden. You notice in the top it's even more dramatic. Something you might want to consider too right now is uh, turn off or hide a crop region. This will clean it up quite a bit. But before we do that, let's bring that back and let's crop it just a little bit better so this is a little bit above our brake line. And then we can hide that. Take this brake line down with the pull tabs, pull that down. And that's a pretty good start of a wall section. One more thing before we leave this. Let's go to the Find button so we can see some of them a uh, little bit more in the way of details that we're looking at here. We have the drywall on both sides of that wall. We have the concrete slab down here. And then we kind of have our pad here. And we're going to get rid of that pad and add some additional elements in our next film.